Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a showdown of the elves as the wood elves face off against the brethren, the high elves. We'll have AC Maiden on the wood elves, and Mr. Duddles will be commanding the high elves in this matchup. So, for the wood elf army, we are going to be seeing Eternal Guard for that front line. Just some pretty standard infantry, nothing too special there. But on both the flanks, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of mobility for the Wood Elves. We have some Glade Riders and some Glade Riders with those Hagbane tips. With the Lost Sylvan Knights, the Great Stag ROR, and they are going to be charging on forward with their very nice physical resist. 75% in total. These guys are a very fearsome foe on the field, and they will have a Spell Singer of Life going to be supporting them, and especially with those great stag knights the spell singer of life can be very helpful with that regrowth getting them healed up with all of that um juicy hp per model count we have earthblood as well and awakening of the wood on her on the other flank we are going to be seeing pretty much kind of a similar layout as we have some glade riders the hagbane tips and then just another glade rider instead of some more great stags but they do have a way stalker to support providing a little bit of ranged firepower on that with some arrows occurrence on them and for the lord you've seen her they are going to be up in the sky the sisters of twilight going to be flying up on their eagle and for them they are going to be bringing that conjoined destiny which will give them a nice juicy heal when their hit points do drop below 20 percent health and they do have the eagle quiver as well kind of the um arrows of kernos equivalent for her as for the high elf army they are going to be um deploying in a very wide stance very similar to kind of how the wood elves are as they're going to be having a fair amount of mobility on their own there's going to be leeward reavers on both sides for some quick movement really kind of their goal probably was to kind of get into any of archers that the wood elves would potentially be bringing but we're not going to be seeing any of those from them very much going to be an infantry fight we're going to have some spearmen rangers on that front line some silverin for some more uh, stalwart defenders and behind them is going to be a fair amount of range unit for the high elves as we have lothan seaguard and some archers kind of mix in Lothan Seek are going to perform a nice dual purpose with their anti-large. But there's going to be plenty of um, arrows coming in from the Wood Elves or from the High Elves here. Up in the sky, we have a Flame Spire Phoenix. We're getting that magic damage, which is going to help um, bypass those Lost Sylvan Knights um, physical resist. And for spell casting, it is going to be an Archmage of Fire. But she is going to be sitting on the ground here, bringing that Flaming Sword of Ruin, which does imbue that magic damage. So a very good spell spell to be bringing against units that is going to be having lots of visitors not just the lost sylvan knights but all of the um woodland creatures are going to be having that physical resist as well just not that 75 percent fireball and arcane conduit are going to be on her so let's get things rolling as the shots are going to be starting to fire away the Lyran reavers here are going to be getting a little caught out i mean they've kind of overextended quite a bit trying to chase down some of these glade riders and these lost sylvan knights going to quickly escort these guys off the field getting a ton of damage very early on and we do have though that a uh, flaming sword of ruin giving that magical damage and fire damage to these archers and the lothan sea guard and they can be trying to pepper in some shots to these lost silver knights and the lost silver knights are going to be sitting right on the um, edge of their range and are going to be able to kind of pull out and avoid most of the damage so that spell isn't going to be so potent against them but the rest of the high elves are going to be kind of pushing up here um trying to kind of get into melee as the glade rider is going to be um, charging right on forward into the rangers definitely the unit to be hitting there as though um, don't want to be going against any of those silver guard or any of the spearmen with those anti-large and the liberty river is just getting torn apart on the flank as the archers continue to rain things um in against them flame fire phoenix going to be diving in as well going to be trying to get some good damage done and i hear a fireball as well looks like that is going to be trying to target the sisters of twilight and it's going to be going off by the wayside as the liberty river is coming back for seconds here definitely feel like they would have had enough after that first initial engagement um and that flame spire is going to be trying to get onto the last seven nights seven nights very um close up and close proximity but and we're going to be getting another uh flaming sword of ruin getting that magic damage as they charge into the archers are going to be taking a brutal hit but these lothran sea guard at point blank range are going to be able to start firing into these lost silver knights with that magic damage and that is just going to melt their hp especially with the um, flame spire phoenix here to support and that lost silver knight very expensive unit being taken down very quickly a regrowth though has been cast on those lost silver knights just before they do kind of push out of range of where that spell singer was and the sister twilight are going to be trying to help support that in the um trying to get them back into that fight 
Then we kind of swing over to the other side to see how things are faring on the far flank. Pretty um, kind of a standstill engagement on both sides. Glade Riders are all kind of just engaging while the archers can kind of pepper in their shots in. While well, most of the action is still going to be having um, done on this far flank as the Sister Twilight are now engaging with that Flamespire Phoenix, trying to take it out, kind of free up these Lost Civilized who have been able to heal up quite a bit, but they are still being peppered by arrows on all fronts right now. And that Flamespire Phoenix is able to free himself from the Sister Twilight, diving down. But that Flame Spire is taking a bunch of damage himself from the, those Sisters Twilight and is going to be routing off the field while these Last of Knights are able to kind of peel off and kind of get a little bit of breathing room. And now the Archmage of Fire is in a bit of a difficult situation here. She is very immobile being on um, foot right now. The Spellsinger, I think, trying to get some more healing the way of those Last of Knights. And the Sister Twilight seeing this engagement, knowing that there's still plenty of archers here in the area, but seeing the opportunity to deal with this Archmage is going to be taking that and trying trying to bring her down, eliminate that magic damage, but just before the Archmage is going to be trying to get one more spell off, but unfortunately is not able to do so. And that is going to be it for the magic damage. Both the Archmage and the Flamespire Phoenix are off of the table, which is now going to be kind of be given those last seven nights a little breather in terms of that magic damage going their way, um, while the rest of the engagement here, the Living Reavers seeing getting chased off on both sides. So all of the mobility for the High Elves is pretty much off the table, but so is a lot of the Wood Elves mobility, the, these Glade Riders very beat down, even the um, Lost Sylvan Dice trying to get more and more healing their way, but they can only get so much left, but they do have the benefit of not having to worry about that magic damage coming in from the High Elves. Sister Twilight kind of just trying to slowly clean things up in the background as these Rangers kind of getting um, picked apart on that end. But we do have the Archmage of Fire has returned to the fray. She is very low in terms of total health and a single shot, I think, from the Sister Twilight will be able to kind of see her off. But magic damage is not completely gone. Arcane Conduit is pop trying to get a little bit more wins of magic get done what can but here is that shot coming in landing a hit against that archmage second one coming in getting very low trying to get another spell off but unfortunately she does route this time and take a look at her hp 152 is all that she has left and i don't think the sister twilight are going to be allowing her return this time around as we do get that um another shot coming in and she is able to at least survive but here comes another and hit and how much hp only one hp down she goes and that is it for the High Elf Lord. Lothian Seaguard now getting completely surrounded and hit on kind of both sides from the Sister Twilight and these Lost of Knights, these mighty steeds going to be putting the hurt on these Lothian Seaguard. Now they do have that bonus versus large, but of course these, these Lost of Knights, another regrowth going their way should be able to hit them right up to their healing cap. And all of the Silver and Guard, the Spearmen are all going to be trying to hem these guys in. But the Wood Elves do have the advantage of mobility here in this late game over the Hiles. But the Hiles have plenty of anti-large units left on all fronts across the board. And the Wood Elves are losing a lot of their infantry support. They didn't really have that much to begin with. Um, but they are going to be have to be relying really heavily on their mobility and their cavalry. And unfortunately, it is Silver and Guard, Lothran Sea Guard, Spearmen across the board. There's only a couple of archers left for the high elves but yeah, it's going to be very kind of difficult for the wood elves to really get any good engagements at this point they're just going to have to try and single units out one at a time and try and break them as fast as they can that balance power is still dead even despite the high elves having lost um all of their spell casting lost that flame spire phoenix so early on so it is still anyone's game at this point, and these archers still have plenty of ammunition and to spare on their own, but these archers are going to be that first unit singled out by the mobility of the Wood Elves and are going to be getting a brutal charge against them, and very quickly are going to be routing, but both of the Spearmen and the Silver and Guard are trying to kind of come in and come to their assistance, get as much damage as they can with their spears, but they themselves are wavering. The Silver and Guards themselves just trying to get that charge to get a little bit leadership on that charge. Those spearmen have been put to route. Silver Knights can be trying to just break these guys as quickly as they can, but in the meantime, all of these archers and those um, um, Vothran Seaguard are going to be getting free shots in against these m mobile Wood Elf forces as they just try and wear them down bit by bit. It's going to be a grind for the High Elves if they're going to be kind of able to come back. And that balance power is shifting in the Wood Elves' favor at this point as the Sister Twilight is getting some nice, decent shots in. But she is only on maybe one round of ammunition left in total. Just one shot, and there's still plenty of very good units they want to be kind of getting those shots in. Lost Silver Knights kind of bypass these 
spearmen just a little bit and they'll be putting them right up against these archers and they're going to be kind of getting a little uh, forgotten for just a second here which is going to allow these spearmen to kind of get a few hits into the rear of them but now that the Lost Silver Knights kind of get that charge in to these archers with the Sister Twilight coming in to support Lothian Seaguard as well kind of getting all mucked up as these archers do kind of pull through from their own spearmen kind of getting a little bit of a buffer as they're going to be able to hopefully turn and fire into these Lost Silver Knights and the Sister Twilight. And Sister Twilight are getting fairly low in terms of their own um, health as that nice volley kind of comes in from those archers. Lost Silver Knights trying to pull out at this point, but they're getting really stuck in by these Lothian Sea Guard and these Spearmen, just really pinning them in place, even though these guys have a ton of mass, you think they'd be able to pull right on out, but they are just kind of milling about, taking more and more damage as their health is just slowly getting chipped away bit by bit. Spellsinger Life is also getting caught in with all of these Spears and Lothian Sea Guard, and they are getting slowly dragged down bit by bit by bit as the rest of the Wood Elves on the far flank having really cleaned up any of the outlying um, High Elf units are going to be all kind of coming back in but I mean these two Eternal Guards with shields are not going to be doing a whole lot they are so very low in terms of leadership and HP I think just getting close to this fight is going to be kind of pull them back but these Lothar and Seaguard just have been dragged through the mud here in the late game and that balance of power is shifting back into the High Elves favor as these guys just could not get out of that fight and they are pretty much done here they have only six models left only 300 75 HP and they are running for the hills as is that Spellsinger life these spearmen and these Lothran sea guards is doing an amazing job of just holding them in in that late stage and all of these dead great stagnites on the ground showing their hard work for the high elves and being able to kind of drag things back and this is kind of the problem that the widows were facing that there was just all anti-large here in the late stage sister twilight just trying to eliminate what they can silver and guard haven't taken out of the fight but that still leaves some fairly healthy lothan sea guard and spearmen as they're just going to be the only two units left and these guys even have a little bit of um, firepower themselves left in them as that balance of power is really close to breaking for the wood elves as they're approaching army losses themselves even and they're just going to have to try and get what damage they can they still have the way stalker they still have the sister twilight some very um decent units left i mean the way stalker is out of ammunition and the glade riders are just gonna have to try and clean things up able to shatter these archers left and there is just a few units left there we even have a unit of rangers which would probably be a very good unit for the wood elves to um, target here at this point the only unit left that really isn't going to be anti-large and we're going to be putting in too much of a problem for the sisters or for these glade riders but the wood elves were looking very strong here but that's simple catch out all of that um, staying power of the Spearman and the Lost Sea Guard able to hold those Lost Sylvan Knights in and have done a very good job of pulling the High Elves back into this fight and these Glade Riders now going to be kind of peeling off to try and chase down the Silverand Guard and these on uh, the set to Silverand Guard trying to keep them from returning because any single spear coming back is going to be very hard for the Wood Elves to deal with and they're just going to have to try and avoid the shots coming in from the Lost Sea Guard because they need to um, deal as much damage as they can with out taken um, too much because they are getting very close to breaking themselves so in the meantime the Sister Twilight are going to be taking up the role of chasing these guys down until they're able to kind of get out of range of those Lothar and Seaguard just kind of take a look at the outside range it looks like they're kind of facing the other way so we're not able to quite see how far those Lothar and Seaguard can reach but it is going to allow these Glade Riders to now freely chase down these two Silver and Guard in the meantime while the Waystalker is just going to be trying to avoid these guys while the rest of the fast movers for the Wood Elves are able to kind of clean up all of the routing units. We do have one Eternal Guard is still kind of lingering in the background, but there's going to be no help coming for them. And now the Lothian Sea Guard are going to be saving their ammunition. I think a few too many volleys were spent already on that uh, Waystalker. Waystalker isn't really the target that they need to bring down. They need to deal with all of the multi-entity models and those sisters of Twilight. So they're just going to be um, trying to uh, maintain as much of their vigor as they can, just kind of slowly um, in pursuit of the Wazedogger, kind of a slow motion chase as both units are just kind of playing it nice and safe. Both sides know that at this point, these Wood Elves are just going to be continuing to chase down what they can. Only one unit left that's routing for the High Elves by the looks of things. So as soon as those spears or the silver are gone and routed or completely shattered, I should say, both of the uh, Sister Twilight and those Glade Riders are now going to be forced to um, return to this engagement system or already well on their way and now the glade riders are going to be turning and coming in to their aid trying to peel off anything and everything that they can 
and his sisters going to be flying overhead. No more ammunition left on them. They will be forced to commit to melee. But the one thing about them that we mustn't forget is they do have that conjoined destiny on them. And they are getting rather close to hitting that heal. And so that will drastically shift that balance of power, even though it is kind of creeping more and more back towards the center as all of the units have been kind of really chased off the Lothian Sea Guard fire off their volley into the Eternal Guards and are going to completely shatter them off of that. And the Sister Twilight going to be able to break these Spearmen really quickly, and that is very nice for them. That is going to almost allow these Glade Riders to kind of loop in, but they are taking some fire from that Lothran Seagar, just trying to avoid what they can and get on to those Spearmen and chase them down. The Rangers as well, though, are going to be coming in trying to bring down the Sister Twilight, who themselves are getting rather low. The Glade Riders are actually going to end up routing from, like, the final shots of these Lothian Seaguard, and now the Sisters of the Twilight are really kind of stuck in a bad spot. The uh, Waystalker is going to be coming in, and it does look like the Glade Rider has returned, and there is that conjoined destiny. It is going to be popped, but it takes a little bit of a wind-up time before they are able to kind of get that off. The Glade Riders charging forward, trying to kind of get into melee and free things up, but the shots continuing to rain in from that Lothian Seaguard as the Sisters of the Twilight dive right back in. And at this point, if they are able to get that conjoined destiny off, it is pretty much going to be game. And that timer is clicking down bit by bit as they charge into the Spearmen, getting a nice hit in, and up goes that health, instantly healing them up and pushing that balance of power way into their favor. And at this point, it is pretty much a done deal. Wood Elves are going to be emerging victorious. Last Lothar and Seaguard putting up a valiant effort. But in the end, the Sisters of the Twilight, that heal at the end seals the fate of the High Elves, and that is going to be all she wrote. So let's take a look at the after battle report, see how things did fare on both sides. So let's start on the High Elves for this matchup with Mr. Duddles. So the Archmage of Fire unfortunately did fire off some fireballs, but not a single one was able to land its mark and getting zero damage. But those... Uh, um, the Sword of Wrath and Ruin definitely uh, doing very well beginning that uh, magic damage on to the target it needs. The only target that it needed was that Lost Silver Knight and able to kind of mitigate them a little bit. Even though the Lost Silver Knight still got 1460, they do cost 2k in total. And then for the rest of the units, Spearmen doing some nice work there. Even the Rangers able to kind of take apart those Eternal Guard very well. Silverin doing some decent work. So all of these units doing very well. Archers getting 900, 628, over 1,000 on these guys. And then the Lothran Seaguard getting 2,000 on this unit doing exceptionally good work for all of the infantry really for the high elves everything doing very well the only real downside here was the Illyrian reavers they got a little too gun-ho on the initial uptake and needed to be a little bit more cautious they were the ones that had the range advantage over the wood elves and they definitely need to play that a little bit more cautiously kind of zone out the uh, wood elf cavalry themselves and then that flame Spire phoenix well got some decent hits onto those lost silver knights got a little too great well she they were still good <laughs> directly over the High Elf army, but that Flameswire Phoenix just got taken apart by the Sisters of Twilight. Unfortunately, did not get its rebirth, unlike how the Sisters of Twilight got their conjoined destiny. As for the Wood Elf army, the Sisters of Twilight, 3760, very nice total value from them. Spellsinger keeping those Lost Sibling Knights in for as long as possible. Waysaka doing some decent damage as well. None of the Eternal Guard really going to be expecting to do all too much here. They really didn't have any super good targets and were kind of outmatched by like the Rangers and the Silverin in that respect. As for the Mobility Glade Riders doing some very good work, especially in that late game. I think these guys getting that 946, um, doing some good work chasing things down. Both of the Hagbane tips getting some nice pepper damage. But really it was kind of the story of the Sisters of Twilight uh, against all of the Archers and the Spearmen for the High Elves. And they were almost almost able to drag things down for against the Wood Elves, but unfortunately that conjoined destiny had a thing or two to say about that balance of power, and the Wood Elves do emerge victorious, but with that, we are going to close things out. I do hope you enjoy the video, and as always, have a good one.